to another edition of Math is Still Math. Today we're going to be looking at the Pythagorean Theorem and how to solve for missing legs, missing heights, missing bases, missing hypotenuse, and everything in between. A lot of these come at the request of specific students, but first, a couple points of vocabulary to talk about. The image below is the hypotenuse of a triangle. It is going to be the side that is across from the right angle. That right angle is at 90 degree perfect corner. So whenever you see the word hypotenuse, just remember that we're talking about the diagonal across from the 90 degree angle. Also in the formula, it would be C in the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Another special request was the button on your calculator to make sure it spits out a decimal. So if your calculator always gives you a fraction or a radical and you just need to have a decimal because the answers are all decimals, you want to hit this button highlighted below. It looks like two arrows, usually. Sometimes you have to hit a second or a shift to get to it. But this is the button that will actually make your calculator spit out a decimal. And lastly, on my paper here, the request, there's been some problems that you guys have been getting where they're asking you questions about uh, cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. And just in case you didn't know, I'm gonna thank Miss Daisy for, uh, for me knowing this from second grade. Uh, if you're ever looking at a map they are going to organize the map in these uh, in this way north will be up on the map to your right will be east down the map is going to be south and west will be left on the map so just in case you have any sort of a problem where it says Bob walks 20 miles to the east, they mean to go right. South is down, west is left, and up is north. And now let's get into the problems. The first one requested was actually problem number one. Daniel rides his bicycle 21 kilometers west and then 18 kilometers north. How far is he from his starting point? If you're like me, you've got to see a picture, and since they didn't give me one, you got to make one. So Daniel, D for Daniel, is going to ride his bicycle 21, 21 kilometers west, okay? So, we had to pick a starting point, and he goes 21 kilometers west, and I know that's left because of cardinal directions. And then he goes 18 kilometers north. How far is he from his starting point? Okay, so his starting point is back there. Okay, so now I get it. Okay, so they want me to solve for C. They want to know the hypotenuse. They want to know how far away are we from his actual starting point, like as the crow flies. So I'm going to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean formula. I know A and B are 18 and 21, so I'm going to replace those. That'd be 18 squared plus 21 squared equals whatever C is squared. Uh, you know what? I did not memorize the 18th time savers. So, 18 squared plus 18 is 324. Twenty-one squared. That's one times twenty-one two times. It's four forty-one. And I'm gonna keep writing. And I'm gonna keep writing c squared. So now I need to do three twenty-four plus four forty-one. Which is seven sixty-five. So if I was going to make a square off of this side of the triangle, it would be 765 square units, but I don't want square units. I just want to know 
this side. So I'm gonna take the square root, the second root of both. Now the second root of c squared is just c. The second root of 765 is 27 and a whole lot of decimals. So I'm gonna round this off to the tenths. So let's say 27.6, no, it's got a five next to it, so I'll say 27.7 miles. Let's move on to problem number two. Okay, a square is put together by two triangles. The hypotenuse is 11 centimeters and the width of 8 centimeters. Find the height of the triangle. If you can see that in your brain, more power to you, but I can't, so I gotta draw my own. A square. Okay, I can draw a square. It's put together by two triangles. The hypotenuse is, okay, so I guess what they meant was the two triangles kind of like a sandwich cut down the middle. Uh, the hypotenuse is 11. Now, hypotenuse, that's our vocab word. It's the one that's across the right angle, so that's 11 centimeters, and then the width of eight centimeters. So what we want to know is, what's the height gonna be? Okay, so I'm gonna write down our formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I'll replace the ones I know. I'm just gonna make a eight. So the a squared plus, and I don't know what b is yet. And then c is 11, so that'd be 11 squared. A times eight is 64. I don't know what b is yet. 11 times 11 is 121. Okay, now this next step was actually requested Mr. Matthew, when are we supposed to subtract from both sides? And this is that moment. Right now, we want to get b squared by itself so we can do our square root. To do that, though, we've got to take away c. We got to get rid of this. So we're going to take away 64 from both sides. This symbol, the equal, the equal symbol, is a symbol of balance. Whatever happens to one side has to happen to the other side. Well, 64 minus 64 is nothing. We just have b squared and 121 minus 64. Is 57. So now all we're left with is b squared equals 57. So we can take the second root, the square root of both sides. Is that b is equal to? 7.54, so I'm just gonna say, round that to the 10th place, that'd be 7.5. I believe we were talking about centimeters. The next requested problem is problem number three. Find the hypotenuse of a right of a triangle that has a 13 centimeter leg and a height of seven centimeters. Okay, well, not exactly the most creative problem, but we can do this. So it's got a triangle. And it told us we're gonna find the hypotenuse, which is C. It told us we have a 13 centimeter leg and a seven centimeter height. Okay. Very straightforward, so that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, um, a and b, we re it doesn't really matter which one you make a and which one you make b, so we'll just say 7 squared plus 13 squared equals c squared. So that'd be 49 plus 13 times 10 is 130, 3 times Thirteen times, okay. Thirteen times ten is one thirty. Thirteen times three would be thirty-nine. So be one sixty-nine equals c squared. Well, forty-nine plus sixty-nine would be two eighteen. 
So we take the square root of both sides. The square root of c squared, the thing that multiplies by itself to make c squared is just c. So what number times itself makes 218? 14.7, but it will round up because that's six. So we say 14.8. Yeah, 14.8 centimeters. That feels about right. I mean, if that's 7, that's 13. That, yeah, 14.8. Yeah, I can see that. Shocker, the next problem requested is problem number 4. In a right triangle shaped house, because <laughs> you live in a triangle, right? The roof is 51 feet long, and the base of the house is 29 feet across. Calculate the height of it. Well, okay, so here's what they're trying to This is the most difficult one to try to imagine the picture for, but here it is. So here's your house. It's a right triangle. Um, the roof is 51 feet long, and yeah, the, the diagonal is the 51 feet. And uh, this is the base of the house is 29 feet across, and we don't know the height. Okay, so if you can get past the oddly worded, you know, uh, description of a house, we're still gonna go. What's a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Uh, a and B, well, one of them is going to be the X, and then C is 51, so we'll just say A squared plus 29 squared equals 51 squared. I did not memorize my 29 times 2, so 29 times 29 is 841, so that'd be A squared plus 841 equals 51 squared which is 2,601. So, okay, now here's again that moment when I've got to do some subtraction. I need to get rid of this 841. So what is 2,601 minus 841? 1,760. And now, yeah, my last step again, you probably already raced ahead of me, is that we're going to do the square root of both sides, the second root, which would be A equals 41.95. So this would probably round up just to 42. Let's move on to the next requested problem, which is problem number five. John is trying to determine the length of the staircase he will need for a deck that is 12 feet high. He wants to start the stairs 21 feet from the deck. This one might be hard for you to imagine if you've never been on a raised deck before. Uh, I've got one behind my house, so it's really easy for me to imagine it, but in case you can't, this is kind of the image you want to have in your head. Okay, so there's a deck. Somewhere where you can stand up, right? But it's above the ground. It's going to be on stilts or something. Now he's going to put in stairs. Let's make this safe. He needs a railing. Alright, so he's going to need stairs to get up to his deck. Now he's saying that the height of the deck, I'm sorry, the the staircase you will need for deck is 12 feet out. Okay, so 12 feet. All right, so it's 12 feet high, and it's going to start 21 feet from the deck. So this, from here to here, is 20 feet, 21 feet away. The length of the staircase. Okay, so he's looking for the length of the staircase. So what we're looking for is C, the hypotenuse. Okay, so that's the image that they're, they're trying to describe to you. 
So what is a squared plus b squared equals c squared in this context? Uh, well, they gave us the leg and the height, so that's a and b. So let's go ahead and just say 12 squared plus 21 squared is equal to c squared. So that'd be 144 plus, I never memorized my, 29, my 21 times tables. 441 equals the length of the staircase squared. Okay, so, so that means that 585 is equal to C squared. And yes, to get our answer, we're gonna take the root of both sides, the second root and square root of both sides. So that would be C equal to 24.18, so we'll say 24.2. Okay, so there's the length of your staircase, buddy. It's going to be 24.2 feet. The next requested problem, and this one was requested more than any problem on the page, is problem number eight. The bottom of the ladder must be placed five feet from the building. The ladder is 14 feet long. How far above the ground does the ladder touch the wall? If you've never been up on a ladder, this is going to be hard to imagine. Most of you have probably seen a ladder. Let's go ahead and get an image. So here's the wall of the building. Let me get a house. Okay. Uh, then we've got a ladder who leaned up against the building. Now that ladder is five feet away from the wall and it's a 14 foot long ladder. And they wanna know how high up does it touch the wall? Okay, well now that we've got the image, it's pretty clear that to do another Pythagorean a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They gave us the base, they gave us the hypotenuse again. That right angle, the hypotenuse is a cross from it, so they gave us the base and this and the hypotenuse, which means we're missing the height. Okay, so we'll just say that 5 squared plus b squared equals 14 squared. 5 squared is 25. Plus, don't know what B is yet. 14 is 14. That'd be 140 plus 40. Be 180 plus 6. Oh, I should have trusted myself. I had it. Yep. Now here comes that subtraction step. Okay, so we're going to take away 25 from both sides to undo that. So we'll end up with B squared equals... 171. And we're going to take the second root of both sides. So B will be equal to 13.07. So we'll say 13. .1. Feet. 13.1 feet. Last problem. Last problem requested was problem number nine. Find the width of a triangle that has a 15 centimeter height and a hypotenuse of 19 centimeters. Well, no story here. Find the width of a triangle. So we don't know the width that has a 15 centimeter height and a hypotenuse of 19 centimeters. So, let's plug it in. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where we know one of these two. So we say 15 squared plus B squared equals 19 squared. And again, 19 is C because it is the hypotenuse. It is across from the right angle. 
Uh, 1515 is 225. But I don't know what 19 is. Three sixty-one. So we're going to take away twenty two twenty-five from both sides. To undo that, so end up with b squared equals one thirty-six. The second root, the square root of both sides, b would equal eleven point six six. We'll just say eleven point seven. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or another way to do these, please leave a description below. And remember, math is still math.